turn it back over to Quinn. Uh, I think we're going to open it up to some questions. This is my favorite part. <laughs> How is that better at keeping the word? Foxies. <laughs> How is the rhetoric changed in light of the assassination attempt with the being here at the RNC and representing the ANC and Biden Harris administration? It hasn't changed. I would say that we've been focused on talking about the issues, uh, reproductive freedom, workers' rights, Social Security, Medicare, the economy, uh, a fair tax code. Uh, Pro Act president and the vice president have been very clear on their vision when it comes to the agenda that they want to put forward for Americans. Our campaign has been talking about that for months since the re-election was announced. Uh, and we're going to continue to do so. As the president said, uh, this is how democracy works. We're going to continue to have a candid conversation about the stark contrast. I think Senator Booker laid it out very, very well, that there are two very, very different uh, visions for this country. Um, and I think it is absolutely surmised that the very tip top of that, with the vice presidential picks of Donald Trump, we see that. Uh, but underneath that, Americans at home are worried about their mortgages. They're worried about their rent. They're worried about health care. They're worried about child care. Um, they're worried about um, how they're going to continue uh, to put gas in their tanks. Uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris are focused on doubling down and continue to do the work for the American people. Uh, and we're going to continue to draw the contrast of what that work actually means and what it means for the lives uh, of those American people. And it's either that, President Biden and Vice President Harris's agenda, or, as President Schuler said, uh, the vision of Project 2025. Uh, and we know what that would do to workers' rights uh, and people's rights across this country.